Hi, uh, so this is a explanation video for the cosine rule missing angles homework which you were set last week. Um, it's going to be handy if you've got a bit of pen and paper with um, the cosine rule written down and for workings because even though you're allowed to use a calculator, trying to do everything in your calculator is often going to lead to mistakes when you try to um, I to juggle numbers in your head, which you should write down, and it also means that you wouldn't have any workings, and these are going to be multiple mark questions normally. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful, and um, if you still want something explained beyond this, then just uh, ask, and I'll do my best to help you out. Okay, let's see what we've got. So, you know to use the cosine rule when you've got three angles, three sides, you're looking for an angle, and it's not a right angle triangle. That's one of the two instances when you need to do the cosine rule. Okay, so um, side A is opposite angle A. That's important because it's in a specific place in the formula. Uh, B and C, they're interchangeable. It doesn't matter if this is B or this is B because um, they don't matter because they're both just the sides around X. Okay, so that's what we need to realize when we put the stuff in the formula. So let's put the first one in the formula and see what we get. So 7.3 squared plus 6.1 squared, take away 6.3 squared, all over 2 times 7.3 times 6.1 and do the inverse cos and you're going to get nearest degree 55 degrees for that one. Do the same thing for this one. So we're going to have 14.9 squared plus 13.1 squared. Take away 18.3 squared all over 2 times 14.9 times 13.1. Inverse cos you're going to get 81. And then last one, you're going to get um, 16.2 squared plus 17.5 squared. Take away 23.2 squared all over 2 times 16.2 times 17.5 in this cos. And that's going to get you uh, 87 to the nearest whole number. Right, so have a look before we um, press mark it, see if these are sensible. Now you should get the smallest angle opposite the smaller side, the biggest angle opposite the bigger side, and the medium angle opposite the medium side. So we've got medium side here, does that seem like a medium sort of angle? Yes, because if you think about an equilateral triangle where all the angles are sort of in the middle, it's 60 degrees, so is it around 60 degrees? Yes it is. This is quite a bit bigger than 60 degrees, so it should be opposite the biggest side, and it is. And this is bigger than 60 degrees, and it's opposite the biggest side, which it is. Okay, so they seem sensible, and they're right. Okay, on to the next page. So, um, we've got obtuse angles here. Now, we've got to be careful here, because what's going to happen is um, we are going to be told by our calculator um, a smaller angle sometimes. Because if you think about a cos graph, you know how things repeat and repeat and repeat. And it will tell us the answer which is closest to zero. Because these are obtuse, because these are bigger than 90, um, we need to make sure that our answer is bigger than 90. And if our calculator tells us something which is not bigger than 90, we can uh, adjust it look at a cross graph and figure out what the actual um, missing angle should be. So let's let's take the numbers in the formula and see what we get and see if it seems sensible. So I should always check if your answer seems sensible before you press mark it or before you hand in a homework or a paper. So 9.5 squared plus 5.5 squared take away 13.6 squared all over 2 times 5.5 times 9.5 equals inverse cos and it tells us 128 degrees so that one is already a bigger than 90 which is good for us because it's right um next one 
let's have a go. So, um, 12.7 squared plus 7.2 squared, take away 15.9 squared, all over 2 times 12.7 times 7.2. This one tells us 102.5, so it rounds up to 103. And yet, yeah, that's bigger than 90, so we're happy with that. And this last one. Uh, we've got 11.8 squared plus 14.2 squared. Take away 22.3 squared all over um, 2 times 11.8 times 14.2. Uh, it tells us 117.8, so 118. So we didn't have to do anything then to adjust it using the graph, but just be aware that might be the case sometimes. Sometimes you might get told a small number and you're told in the question, the words of the question, there's an obtuse angle. Don't, don't do stuff just because it looks obtuse, but you know it's the obtuse angle because it says here, you know that the biggest angle is going to be opposite the biggest side, which it is here. So if it tells you a very small angle, you'd know you're wrong for that reason. But um, these ones have all worked out for the best. And uh, so hopefully they're all right. And they are. And that, that's it for this homework. If you need any more extra help with that, then just let me know.